So uh, my trip to the Trans Sky was a little bit delayed, as you can see. I completely wrecked my tyre, so that's going to have to be replaced. So that sucks, but uh, Trans Sky, here we come eventually. So as you can see, I'm packing the car in some really horrendous conditions. Ugh, it's pouring with rain. Um, I don't know if I'm going to make it all the way to the Trans Sky today after repairing my my tyre, so uh, we'll have to see how things go. But it is pouring with rain. So we uh, decided to to do a little bit of a, a detour on our way to the Trans Sky because the tyre uh, took a long time to repair. We were never going to get there in time. And uh, look at this: woke up to snow-covered mountains. How awesome is that? Uh, but we're going to head to the Trans Sky now. And we'll get you there. So how do you know you're in the trans sky? So when you start dodging potholes, cars and taxis. Move. Move. So it's the first morning going down to one of my favorite fishing spots. See it's quite busy, it sounds like there's been quite a lot of shade around, so it seems like the fishing spots are going to be quite busy. Uh, but I'm only throwing lures this morning, uh, I'm going to throw a spoon for some shad just because there's shad around, but I might also throw a plug because I'm sure there's something eating the shad and the plug should do the trick. But uh, let's head down there try and catch some fish. fish on in three casts. Um, I'm using the single hook as opposed to treble hook on my spoon which means uh, my success rate is probably going to be a little bit less uh, because uh, the, a treble hook will just hold a, a, a lot better so I lost quite a few in the sort of tumble in the, uh, at the rocks but I'm going to carry on throwing see if uh, see if anything happens. So it looks like there's another big shoal of shade coming through should be going on soon soon. Okay, so I've changed uh, position slightly. Uh, I'm going to try and fish uh, this really nice looking water behind me here. That other spot was pumping. There's there's tons of shad, but it got a little bit busy. And you know, this day and age, we're all about social distancing. So I figured I'd come and check out another spot. It's also my first morning here, so I'd like to go and have a look at the different spots and see what the water's looking like, and see what the structure's looking like, um, so I can plan the rest of uh, my fishing here. So let's get a lure in the water and see what we can catch. So from past experience, uh, this spot doesn't necessarily produce as many shad as, uh, as that other spot, uh, but I've caught some absolute monsters here. So uh, I'm going to try and fish uh, this sort of hole over here along that white water. And uh, it's looking a little bit sandy. I might even throw a, a, a drop shot for uh, some cob. Um, so we'll see how, how things go. And uh, yeah, let's see if we get some fish. This 
this water is just looking too good for cob. So I'm going to switch out on my heavy rod, uh, my plug for my drop shot, and uh, see if I can maybe pick up a cob or two. Alright, that's not good. Not good at all. What happened there? Right, let's try this drop shot again. Hopefully we don't have the same issue. There's definitely something not right here. Oh, that's probably stuck. Unfortunately. Well, at least I know my knots are strong. Okay, well, let's stick to the spoon for now. So after a morning of uh, plenty hookups on Shad, uh, but unfortunately no fish landed. Um, I'm gonna go to another spot now and uh, go and try for some shad or possibly some cob. Uh, just see what the water's looking like, see what to target. The one thing I really love about walking up here in the, in the trans sky and looking for fishing spots is that you end up walking on these massive goat paths and you have these amazing views and uh, you can actually look down and see fish. I've seen at this very spot, I've seen some giant cob swimming around. So uh, it is a great way to, to spot fish. A lot of the times when you see the fish, they're in an unfishable spot, but uh, that's how it goes. Um, but let's uh, carry on going, get to the fishing spot and hopefully catch some fish. Down at my spot, wind's picked up a little bit. I'm gonna throw a lure briefly, uh, just to see if there's any active fish around. And I'm gonna put on some bait send it out there but let's see what we can catch okay so I'm initially gonna throw a spoon uh, but there's some really nice dirty water here so I might even throw a, a drop shot as well and uh, see what I can get there we go fish on first cast Nice. Oh, it's nice to get a fish on the first cast. Oh, not a bad shed. How's that? First cast. Nice shed. Yeah. That's better. All right, not too bad. First cast fish on, decent sized shad. Um, I'm gonna keep this. A friend of mine actually asked me to keep a fish for them. Uh, it's also been damaged a bit on the rocks. But decent sized fish for the first cast. Let's hope we're gonna get some more. So a lot of the times I'll throw a spoon before I throw a, a, a drop shot or a soft plastic because the shad that we're catching, uh, you can actually see the teeth marks on the spoon. They absolutely demolish the soft plastics. Uh, but this water is looking so good for cob, I might uh, just uh, sacrifice one or two soft plastics and throw them out uh, for cob. But I have one or two more casts with the spoon first. Okay, so I've changed on to a drop shot now. Uh, I'm going to just risk one or two to potentially uh, lose them to shad and uh, just try for some cob and then uh, when I'm done throwing this I'll throw some bait out there see what I can get on some bait uh, and then uh, the Springboks are playing rugby so then I'm going to pack up and go watch some rugby but let's uh, see how this does hopefully we get on go on with a nice sized cob Well, let's launch a bait out there. 
see what we can catch. Boat tends to be a lot more productive than lures, but lures are just so much fun. But uh, this water's looking beautiful. Let's see what's out there. It's actually Gannett's busy hitting bait fish not too far from here, like just the other side of the back line. So there's definitely bait fish around. I've been with bait for quite a while. Um, no bites and the current has been terrible it's been washing me in um, so i'm gonna just for the last little bit of this session i'm gonna throw a plug and uh, see if i can't convince a leary or a very big shad or something else interesting to pick it up but there's been a lot of birds diving so there's definitely bait fish out there so let's give it a go hopefully we catch something nice so i want another decent fish Hopefully I'll be able to lift it. Not a bad shit. Woo. Yeah. Not a bad shit at all. Oh, this one's hooked to the gills, unfortunately. So, it's gonna have to be kept. But yeah. So yeah, unfortunately this one got hooked in the, in the gills. But another decent sized fish, it's going to be a nice meal and uh, yeah also on the spoon. Uh, what I decided to do is I, I noticed on the previous one uh, I was reeling really fast so I increased my reel speed straight away and fish on. So there we go, another decent sized shad. So my first cast self to catch that fish, fast retrieve, I was onto another fish but uh, it didn't stay hooked. It's the tricky thing with shad. But I think I'm going to go on again soon. There's also a bird feeding on bait fish here. This is going to get exciting. Oh, there it is. Decent fish. Another nice shad. Wow. Hope I can lift this. Yo! Oh, another decent fish. They're all a similar size, they're not a bad size. This one I'm going to take down here so I can release it quickly. But uh, yeah, similar size to the others I've caught. I just want to get it back into the water pretty quickly. <sighs> Have to release some of them. Oh. Yeah, nice fat shad, eh? Have a look at that guy. Nice. Oh, his face is a bit ripped up, but he'll, he'll be fine. Let's get it back in the water. So they also call them bluefish in other parts of the of the world. So if you're wondering what a shad is, it's also a bluefish if you're from the States or a, a tailor in, uh, in Australia. There you go buddy. I'm sure he'll be good. I actually have to go but with the birds being right here and there's been action, I'm going to have a few more casts. Otherwise, I'm going to have a very upset girlfriend asking me why I didn't watch the rugby with her. <laughs> All right. Last cast. Woo. All right, not a bad session. Got these uh, two, actually three shad. I released the other one. And they are... 41 and 40 centimeters decent size decent size uh, perfect eating size but it's it is quite important guys when you do catch these fish uh, to try and release some of them rather keep what you're going to eat release the rest and uh, rather release more than you keep sure so I'm out of breath after climbing up that hill but uh, that's it for today Thanks very, very much for watching. Uh, if you want to see what uh, I catch tomorrow in my next video, be sure to subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And uh, thanks very much for watching. Catch you in the next video. Hey, or tonight rather, I'm going to be putting on the multi species rig. I'm going to be targeting some uh, smaller fish, but you never know, I'm fishing at night, so there's potential for a bigger fish.